rocker panels and cab corners actually came in today. So I am going to have to uh, make a small piece there on the cab corner. I'll probably try to keep it as low as possible down here. I've also got a bench right here that I'm going to try to pop out. So this next will uh, pop the door off and uh, get started. So uh, before I get to cutting anything, I'm going to do some preliminary measurements from height-wise and also width-wise on the rocker panels, just so I have a baseline of where everything needs to be. Okay, so once I get done fighting with this door, I'm going to be taking a few initial measurements of the location of the old rocker panel so that I kind of have a reference point when I go to put the new rocker panel on. And uh, yeah, once that's done, uh, start cutting off the old rocker panel. Um, I kind of like to take my time doing this. Um, it's a lot, uh, a lot easier to take something apart cleanly than to just go at it with an air chisel and make a giant mess, tear a bunch of holes and bend everything all to hell. Just makes uh, putting everything back together a lot more difficult. I guess it really shouldn't come as a surprise that these old trucks rust out as bad as they do with the amount of sheer garbage that just collects inside of all the panels. Oh, well, there's no such thing as just doing cab corners and rocker panels. Um, I haven't quite mastered the art of welding to air yet, so I have to reconstruct some of this inner before I get started on anything else. It's none of it's really a surprise, but certainly a minor inconvenience. So yeah, so get started on that. Okay, so I finally got this cab corner tack welded in place. Uh, it's just tacked every inch or so. Uh, I made a filler piece here because uh, the patch panel wasn't long enough to cover up all the rust. So uh, yeah, this was a bit of a battle getting to this to fit. I'm still not 100% happy with it, but the problem with these aftermarket cab corners is uh, usually designed to just lap weld on top of the old one and uh, I decided I was going to waste time and butt weld this so um, when I went to line everything up there was a huge gap here uh, so it took quite a bit of fan dangling to kind of try and get that all lined up the way it should be so uh, seeing as how we seem pretty committed to wasting time here. I think I'm gonna use a TIG welder to finish weld this. So when I'm TIG welding it, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weld about half inch at a time, let it fully cool, and uh, then just continue welding. Um, so hopefully that'll kind of minimize the amount of warping. This whole back panel here is pretty soft, so um, if we do see any distortion, it's all going to be kind of in this area. Uh, so we'll uh, kind of take our time with that and uh, hopefully avoid most of it. Okay, cab corner is all welded up. Nothing too spectacular there. Ready for bodywork. Got the rocker panel all fit in place. I uh, can't really say anything bad about the rocker panel fitment. Uh, everything more or less fell into place. All my preliminary measurements that I took of the old rocker panel are all the same. So uh, I guess if the guy was doing a show truck, uh, this 
edge along here is kind of a little wavy, but uh, for this truck, really not going to worry about that at all. So, uh, get this rocker panel welded on, and I guess that's about it for this side. All right, I don't have one of them new fangled spot weld machines, so I just use plug welding to attach the new rocker panel. Uh, I like to drill 5 16 holes spaced about 2 inches apart anywhere where there was a spot weld before, and then just get everything clamped up tightly to the panel below it, and go along with the MIG welder and weld up all the holes. Um, I usually start in the center and work my way towards the outside. I like to crank the heat up on the welder and just get in, get out real fast. And you end up with a really strong weld uh, that doesn't have a lot of proud on it. So minimal grinding later on, minimal cleanup. All right, rocker panels welded on. All the welds are ground down. Everything's fitting. Cab corners all ready for body work. So we'll do a little body work and then seam sealer. And uh, this side will be ready for paint. So I guess it's uh, on to the next side now.